Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. Today we're diving deep into Tag Team Arena and we're joined by none other than Lil Games. Uh, hi, do you want to say hello to the channel? It's your first time being on. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to be here. Thanks for having me on. Uh, looking at your 3v3, 3v3 teams was, was a load of fun <laughs> uh, the other day. Not, not my most popular video, but certainly the one that I enjoy making most. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, a smaller channel, guys. So make sure to go over and support and subscribe. But you caught my attention big time because I did a video a couple of weeks ago now on the teams I was using in 3v3. And yeah, Lil, actually, you went and did like a whole deep dive, uh, breaking down my team, suggesting like what you would do. Uh, you yourself, right? You are very experienced at this point, gold four tag arena player. You've been there for a long time, uh, battling it out against the toughest teams. Uh, so. Yeah, it was really interesting to get your insight in that video. Uh, but we have you on here today to go even more in depth because everything has changed in two <laughs> weeks. Everything is different now. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we've got White King Narcis. He has come in to go with Ancora, the fusion. That's a big deal. And of course, then I, I don't know what your thoughts are on the new fusion that's coming uh, on Thursday. Probably uh, this will probably be out on Wednesday. So. Yeah, it'd be out this week anyway. But what do you think about Armand's the new fusion? Is he someone that's coming into Tag Arena? What do you think about him? I mean, I think he's going in everyone's top arena team. Like, <laughs> I don't see how he's not. I don't see any world where you're not running him in one of your tagged Tag Arenas and probably in your main arena offense <laughs> and defense. Exactly. All right. Let, let me set up the teams that I've actually been using here. And I can tell you, like, what's working well. What's not? I mean, you can probably tell me what's working well and what's not as well. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go. So one thing I've been doing, I don't know what you think about this. The first team I've got complete here, which is is new since we did this before. Uh, I have some pros and some cons about this team, but I've got the the two couples, right? Sifi and Rotus, and we've got uh, Ancora and Narcis in there. Um, I don't know, do you run anything like this uh, for yourself? I know you don't have the C fee, right? I don't, but I have been I have been running uh, like in my classic arena offense. I've been running my Duchess with with the couple. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Mainly just for testing them out, but you know I've got uh, my Duchess is six star, uh, so she's she's pretty tanky. Uh, yeah. So I've been running her <laughs> plus. God, I have to check now. Uh, I think it's her plus. Monkey? No, her Taras. Uh, oh. So Duchess, right, Taras, right. Uh, <laughs> and then the couple, and then King and Queen. Yeah, yeah, it's powerful. The, one really interesting thing that I want to look at here in this one is I've actually found specifically when I'm attacking, I love fighting Rotus. I'm like, yes, ultimate death knight. Bam, job done. Easy game. Like, I find... He's not that good on on defense, perhaps. Like it, certainly for me, attacking, I like attacking Rota's defenses because he's really easy to counter, and I don't even have a Harima who also counters him. Uh, so I'm almost wondering what I've been doing now, because I was testing it in Classic Arena, and I was finding that this team here with the Rotus, it was great. But if you ran into Ultimate Death Knight or Harima, or if I ran into both together, he'd be absolutely smashed because the Rotus wouldn't do anything especially against Harima. He's just, she's just like, three triggers of my AoE every time I A2. And it was flopping. So I've actually been switching them up, which is very similar to what you were suggesting over here, which was actually running a lockout over in this team, uh, which I, I think is quite nice because you get the speed aura, which helps the lockout. You've got lots of turn meter boosting to get the lockout back. Uh, they're just very tanky. They're fast. Uh, and I think speed goes well with lockout. And then Narcissus is scary for damage. He's got plenty of buffs. Um, I don't know. What what do you think about this? This was the first sort of team that you were looking at here. The Sifi and Quora. Yeah, and, and in there. do you know what? Like, so obviously, you know, uh, prepping for today and again, yeah. taking a look at your teams and what I'd suggested before, mm, mm. I had the same problem, which is, and I had the same problem on my teams, is yeah. if you ever have <laughs> Rotus as your only damage dealer, Yep. You're really easy to counter on defense. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that, and that was the first sort of team that I looked at when looking at okay, how would I fit king and queen into your into your lineup? Mm. The first the first revision that I had of that 
I just had Rotus in one of the in you know I had a Rotus Siffy team and I went he's going to be the only damage dealer again if I saw you on defense I would just put in (laughs) my ultimate death knight and your Rotus can hit into him for a while while I kill everyone else on your team yep (laughs) exactly exactly it's kind of a big problem like I I think that for me certainly I think Ancora and Narcis together are extremely strong right even if they like you could potentially just try to outspeed this team right and lock them out we don't have the best speed aura just try to lock them out even still like ancora with because she can reset narcy's skill they're still quite a threat there even if you do lock them out i think they're very very good together um, that's that's one of the sort of uh again looking at the teams mm. one of the things that the couple are really good against is lockout yeah because even if they get locked out, she's going to use her A1. That's going to reset his cooldowns. <laughs> Chances are 50-50 chance. And then, you know, you're suddenly back in the fight. Same reason Rotus is great against lockout, because he just gets that A1, gets an extra turn, uh, and then he's back in the fight with his A2. Yeah, indeed. Uh, one thing I was curious about as well, uh, I've just broken the team here, but I have been running like a pure sort of old school type speed team. Uh, and that was something you were very, uh, uh, really <laughs> trashing me on in the video. You were saying, what is this speed team? Speed teams are gone. Uh, what's, your, what's your vibe on speed teams? And like, what do you typically see uh, like in Goal 4 Tag Arena? I'm actually, I'm there right now, but I don't think we've got, I can see if I can find something, but. Oh, yeah, I'll have. Shitty uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I probably, I don't put, a, I only put a weak defense in during, uh, during personal reward CVC. So yeah, the rest of the time, I, I just leave my standard in. So yeah, I've got, you know, if I'm looking down here, some people still run speed teams. Like it's not unheard of. Um, like you said to the, to the Rotus, it's just really easy to counter. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, like, there's no no offense intended. There's like even with a lockout, I would see your speed team there, and I would run my Rotus team into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. because yeah, I'm gonna get locked out. You know, could I have a? I could have a speed fight with you. Uh, you know, it's it's easier with you because I've got your roster and I can see well, what that, speed yeah, your arbiter is. Do I know if I'm gonna win ahead of time? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, you know, you've got arbiter Yumiko. I could run my arbiter warlord into that. But I wouldn't. I'd just go, Tanky Duchess, Rotus, will wait you out and will A1 you to death, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, 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 that's my, like, you know, whenever we're looking at teams for, like, people in our, in our clan, you know, none of the serious arena guys would recommend a, a, a speed team, typically. Mm. I know, I know plenty of people do. And, you know, if I look down the list of my 3v3 <laughs> battles now, I can see speed teams. Um, it's just more common for the defense teams. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Well, I'll show you like where I've been sort of tinkering a bit because I was wondering about our mans. And again, I was looking at sort of speedy type teams so that I do somewhat like them. Uh, but I'll break down the sort of the team ideas I have, and then you can give me better ideas. So, <laughs> but I think that gives uh, people sort of the, the different view. Like uh, this this team up here, team one. I've actually seen a few people running this, and it's been uh, quite quite decent for me actually. It's been less effective in goal four certainly than it was. It was an absolute monster. Like climbing up goal two, even goal three, it was quite strong. Definitely falls off uh, as you get against better players with better champions. Um, but like that's not too bad. Uh, so I was even kind of leaning towards maybe keeping that. And I was almost wondering about moving Elva over. I'm kind of a massive fan of Elva. I like her quite a lot. Um, you lose the damage reduction Python. But I'll just show you the teams I was thinking of. Because I was thinking, right, we get another big speed aura. And we've got the potential to run lots of very big speed auras with uh, the um with the pirates he's a 28 percent speed aura i think yeah i'm going like all out speed here (laughs) so what i was kind of thinking was yes maybe keeping cfi rotus as one team and having her as another team and then i was thinking of throwing in uh let's put the pirate who will sub sub one could sub in as a pirate i'm not sure how it's going to work on defense but in theory on offense certainly the pirate goes quite well with a rotus because you can cheat the ultimate death knight and just move on i say this guy's the pirate yeah <laughs> um i was actually thinking something like this so you still have the speed aura 
you lock them out, you've got lots of control. I wasn't entirely sure about that. And then over here, I re-geared my Kaimar, and I was like, the old school, you know, Zephy Rotus Kaimar, a very old team. You're still very vulnerable to the ultimate death knight. Uh, I was thinking of throwing in like a bolster set Alsgor that I've been messing around with a little bit. And the idea is that you've got two potential strips, you've got decent defense with the bolster and the Zephy and the block damage. You are reliant on the Rotus. So again, like my bigger problem would be be just an ultimate death knight or harima oh, like in in high-end tag arena you're gonna run into people have those like people have got crazy teams right <laughs> yeah you're definitely gonna yeah. so like is that just too hard is rotus just too hard countered that you cannot even run him on defense so it's kind of uh like this or you could even maybe even better be running like this so you've got the sheep from pirate um you've got the double reset over here with that which is quite, quite nasty as well uh, that's kind of just annoying to deal with. Super resets. Resets for days. Um, so I don't know. That was some of my thoughts. Any initial thoughts on that? Are you like, no, what are you, what are you smoking? <laughs> These are the worst teams. Uh, no, would you not at all. The, the <laughs> I guess the problem that I see, mm. and it's the problem that you're highlighting, is you've got a single damage dealer and... They've got counters, like they've got counters baked in, baked into the game. Yeah, uh, yeah. on purpose. Yeah, um, which is good. So you know, <laughs> uh, I would try and layer up your damage. You know, mm. so again, like your, you know, your your double couple team is great, mm. but the problem is you've got your two best supports and your two best damage dealers in the same team, mm, mm, um, mm -hmm. which is why really you want to split them out. So. You know, what I've been doing more with my teams is having my main damage dealer and then having a backup damage dealer. So I've got, for example, I've got King and Queen with Helicath. And my Helicath okay. is built four piece stone skin plus lethal. So he's doing the job of protector and supplementary damage dealer. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> Helicath is one of those that can be quite annoying on defense because, yeah, as you say, you got to bring something to deal with this or wait it mm -hmm. out, which is horrible. And he does pump out that sort of consistent damage. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Who what, do you, so who the... do you, else do you run with that one then? With... Oh, uh, Ultimate Death Knight. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's so good. Like, any team with Ultimate Death Knight is, like, absolutely top tier, isn't it? <laughs> he's just yeah, such I a mean, pain. Yeah, I mean, that's quite stacked from a defense perspective that team you know you've got the helicopter and you've got the ultimate death knight but yeah you know uh well, that's, my that's strong though it's uh, about those disgusting combos sometimes it's just making... that's the main thing that you're trying to do you're yeah. trying to build teams that you wouldn't want to face yes like put as many annoying champs in <laughs> <laughs> because now the problem is from a from if i'm attacking you mm. i guess technically if i'm looking at this critically if i'm attacking you i now want to put my son wukong in that team against you because he counters yeah. both those champs um yeah so but i guess again, maybe there's an argument to split up uh helicath and, and ultimate death knight there because then you want to you want to make people want to use it like when you've got let's say a siffy and a rotus on different teams or a siffy a rotus and a and a Sun Wukong on, on different teams. Right, you want right. people to be torn for where they use their UDK because they can only use it on one. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that's always a nice, a nice trick. I, I saw one really now. I'm sad it's gone. There was one really nasty defense. And like it was three teams, and basically every team was like Shuzen uh <sighs> with some crazy damage and like a warlord. I'm like, oh my god. Like, which team is the fastest one? Like, what do I even do? Like, yeah, I've got maybe a team that's really good into a super fast lockout, but do I have got three teams that are good against you? And, you know, it was that level where it's like, oh, God, yeah. like, everything is horrible. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> you only is... need to win two to win. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try and win all three. Exactly. I mean, even if having, do, like, great. one crazy defense that's really a pain in the arse to deal with, like, that could be really good. Like, if someone's looking at it and they go, okay, well, there's no chance I can win one. Like, if they're even a little a little uncertain about the other one, like, they might not go for it. Because right? you do, yeah. when you're on offense, you want to win at least two. Uh, you, you don't want to take fights where you're not certain. It's like, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. What, what else would you do? What other teams would you set up 
for me. I don't know if that was one you suggested for me, by the way. I just, this is one you No, that was, that was actually my team. Yeah, that, yeah. That's what Fair I'm enough. running on one of my teams at the moment. <laughs> well, what, which ones uh, would you suggest for, for me, though? Because I know you've got a list. Uh, a I have, I've got... The updated, the a, pirate version. I've, I've, got three, I've got three teams, okay. and then I rethought my own three teams, my own first stab at your teams and i okay. wasn't happy with them because oh interesting so that's i was stacking those, those up here so what were the weak uh, no i've got a, i've got a new a new list since then so originally yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um i don't know if you want to throw throw them in in game or something and then you can see them see yeah. all three teams side by side Do it. the first one that i looked at was siffy elva so uh, person i always want to try and bring in a tanky cleanser uh, sorry, a tanky reviver, a cleanser, a damage dealer, and then what I usually think of as a flex spot. So whether right. that's a protector, whether that's a lockout, just something to interrupt what they're trying to do or add some extra protection on my team, mm -hmm. something to try and make them have a not nice day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so then, uh, sorry, so that was Siffy, Elva, Rotus, and Yumiko. Presuming that Siffy is your fastest champ, so your you know your speed. Yeah, that's your speed team here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that with a speed aura then to get the Yumiko going first? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then your in that team, your Siffy's got the speed boost as well, which was my problem with one of the teams that you had Yumiko in. Is there was no turn meter booster in that team. Mm, mm. So you had the speed aura, but then you didn't have a turn meter booster. So then it's. You know, it's it's more of a gamble, I guess. On, on yeah, the defense. yeah, that might be some live arena coming through, right? Where in live arena, it's very easy, really, to use a lockout champion without any sort of boost because, you know, like, you can't you kind of see like if they're building a speed team, you obviously don't go for that. But like, yeah. if they're running a slow team, like, you don't need a speed booster at all. Or again, you can ban away their speed champ and sort of ensure your lockout is going. So lockout becomes... Yeah, you've got more control. Yeah, you've got more control. Whereas on defense, I see, you know, it's certainly riskier. It's like, okay, I could have crazy speed in my lockout, but they could have crazier speed on someone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, you know, I use my Warlord with my Pytheon, mm -hmm. but, you know, like, I know some of the guys that I talk to in Arena are like, you're wasting your time. Because yeah. we can see you haven't got a speed booster. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. know, unless your Warlord is crazy and he's mm -hmm. not like six star awakened and he's not plus anything, so he's probably not right. that crazy from our perspective. <laughs> yeah. We know we can just kill him. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely be suspect because I like Yumiko tends to be really fast, but like Warlords tend to be in stone skin and they tend to be fast, but not that fast. Yeah. So I'd always be suspect. I'll be honest, I probably need to rebuild mine into stone skin. Okay, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just because, like, Yumiko's got the whole CC immune thing, which isn't really nice. Yeah. Because she's, you know, Yumiko. She's her own thing. But, all right, that, that's team one, though. Let's see, what other yeah. teams did you have? These, I guess th these are my first stabs. So I'll, I'll yes. give you my, my, first, my first look, and then I'll give you my rethinks. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the second team was, well, in fact, let's do your, we'll do your king and queen team because they yeah. were next. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I put Kaimar in with your king and queen and okay. Helicath. Okay. Oh. Uh, Kaimar, I actually had as flex spot. So, you know, you had a few different champs that I thought could go in there. Hmm. I thought Armand's could go in there. Yep. Yuko could go in there. Kadja could go in there. Hmm. Uh, your new Raglin <laughs> could go in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I pulled her quite early, so I did used to use her in Arena. Um, yeah. I've been uh, meaning Gofrid. to do a video on her, but I haven't just had the time to do it. Uh, yeah. And she keeps getting stone skin gear, and then it keeps getting stolen by other champions. <laughs> She's had so much gear ripped off of her by multiple champs in the last while. Yeah. Poor Raglan. <laughs> so, you know, critiquing my own build here, do mm -hmm. you need the Kaima in that team? Because yeah. the queen resets the king so often that actually, you know, he gets resets from her A1 all the time, so the Kaimar is he really bringing a lot in that team? And actually, you kind of want, unless you need the cleanse, you kind of want her to be using her A1. You don't want her reset on the A2 all the time because you want her to use the A1 to reset the King's cooldowns. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, what I would think, you've got, a, I would say, for me, looking at things to attack, because that's how I like to do it, attacking my own team. I'm like, <laughs> team one, I'm like, ultimate death knight and i'm yep. chilling and then team two you've got a cut because 
That's one thing I found with Ancora. I like Ancora with Sifi a lot. I pick them together in Live Arena all the time. Ancora, Sifi, and Narcis. And it's like, oh my God, it's just a pain in the arse, right? Uh, for them to do it. Really, I'm, I'm like, I'm beating you yeah. down my wallet, enemy player. <laughs> but to be fair, <laughs> half the time, they're like, yeah, cool. Have a play here. Here's a plus four. Suck it. <laughs> like, okay, fine. <laughs> we both are beating each other. It's silly. But uh, because Sifi brings the block buff, uh, block debuffs, right? Which Ancora doesn't have. So like with yeah. this team, like that's actually quite vulnerable to a tournament, right? Because you've got a lot of buffs uh, and turn meter boost even. You've got no block debuff. So like if stuff gets frozen. I guess actually Ancora probably breaks free of it. And so does Narcy. So maybe not too bad. I don't usually think about her passive. Um, yeah, but that's only on one, isn't it? So I guess, you know, yeah. that would grab not that would free Narcy's, but it wouldn't help your Kaimar or your Helicath. Yeah, yeah. And Rotus can be decent into this. Although, again, Narcy's quite nice. He just can one shot the Rotus, which is good. But you could still have Rotus can sort of rip through potentially just one shot her and deplete his max HP. And then he's becoming quite weak. So that's an, yeah. another potential issue. Um, but yeah, I, I did. I, I've got to be honest, and I'll I'll send you the <laughs> the screenshots after. I've I've got like strengths and weaknesses for each of the champs yeah. in each of the teams, like laid out as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which I'll send you after. <laughs> and yeah, absolutely. You know that team. Uh, who have we got? The Nazis. You know, I've got like who's he good against? Harima, Taras, Marichka, Wukong, and Lockout. And then your Helicath is good against a Taras. Yeah, I actually think uh, Narcissus is bad against Harima specifically. At least from my fights, because he doesn't. Her, he doesn't actually ignore her passive, so. Oh, does he not? No, oh, I thought he no. did ignore. I thought it was confirmed he did ignore her passive. No, no, it doesn't. Which is oh, okay. a problem. <laughs> then apologies, I'll take that one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she's actually quite decent against him, which is is really annoying for me, by the way, in live arena because I'm going in and I'm, I'm like, I want to pick basically. Uh, Sifi, I want to get Ancora Narcis, and then I'd love to follow it with a Yumiko and a Rotus, and they're like, yo, have a, tar have a Harima. Have a Harima. Like, no, Harima is really good yeah. against all of my champions. This is not fair. I'm Damn the it. same if, it, if it's Boy. any consolation. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what was the, then the, the third the team? Last, the last team was hmm. uh, the team that you had, so the Pytheon, Mithrala, Wukong, UDK. Yeah, yeah. And I put the, the I kept team. that key that team because you said you liked the Wukong and the UDK. I do, but I broke them apart again. So. I, I was gonna ask you, like, that was something I was wondering as well. Like, this is a, a solid team, but I was like, man, UDK is so powerful. Is it better to split him somewhere else? I'm curious what you're gonna go with the with the second set. Again, this is so, the, the, the team I've been running. I can I can tell you from running this one of the weaknesses. Although the five star polymorph is annoying, like. I can just throw it like a my speed team in there, and like Ronda can just block his passive, and then you just pick off Pythian, and it's done with yeah. a lockout. That's quite quite strong. Um, that's definitely the biggest problem with Wukong that I've run it. Like even Anithway, Live Arena, Mesamel can be annoying. Now, somewhat protected by the ultimate Death Knight, but they can often kill him anyway. I do, I do find I find both Wukong and ultimate Death Knight counter each other. Uh, yeah. Because, like, when I was looking yeah. at, okay, what's the strengths and weaknesses of this team? Who counters <laughs> Wukong? Yeah. A well beat built UDK. And if yeah. I'm looking at your team there on defense, mm -hmm. I can see that Wukong is your damage dealer. I can see he's built it's for very, damage. Yeah, it's very obvious, isn't it? Yeah. So I know my UDK is going to out tank him and not get sheeped, at which point Wukong's A2 right. is not a nuke anymore. <laughs> yeah. Because it's just going to hit into my ultimate death knight. And not sheep him because I'll resist yeah. it. So uh, you know. Uh, Ooh, but, are we gonna do like? Are we gonna do pirate with Wukong? Double up on the sheep for pirate passive synergies. Do you know, I was thinking yeah. about that earlier, but I haven't updated my teams to look at it. Let's have a yeah. look. What did I go with? Yes, uh, yeah. So what's then the second version of these teams? Yeah. So uh, and sorry, the other, the other. It's the same with the UDK. You know, if it's a damage, if it's a damage Wukong, yeah. Then. Ultimate Death Knight is a great counter. If it's a support Wukong, then He's no, screwed. you've been countered. So yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I need to build mine with more resistance. That was something from the test server. I, uh, my when I was doing our mans, uh, I thought I got a comment saying your gear is like you've got way too much accuracy. Shitty showcase. I'm like, bro, in the showcase we didn't have enough accuracy to fight the people that have to fight on the test server. What are you talking about? But um, <laughs> yeah, like. 
uh, really also, high you're fighting against some serious game. teams there like on the yeah. and you don't get any of your area bonuses or anything on the uh... i think you do but they just don't oh do you i didn't think do. they were yeah. included but um oh, okay. yeah it's one of the problems so I, I love to test stuff out with like shittier gear and like against typical like goal <laughs> five teams but like I don't have them. i've got whoever the other content creators are um yeah yeah so, yeah anyway uh rant so over. my <laughs> Second stab at these teams was mm. taking the Elver out of your first team. Okay. To put as more of a flex spot. So again, bringing in a secondary damage dealer into that team yeah, to protect yeah. you against a new DK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got loads of options. So yeah, the ones that came off the top of my head, Tormin, Ragash, Romantu, Goffred, Arix, all serving <laughs> that protector role and supplementary damage dealer role for you. Yeah, I like it. Pick all counterable, but all things that then somebody's got to think about yeah, countering yeah. and using their team to counter you. Yeah, true. Well, I did laugh at your Ragash video because I ran my Ragash for ages in a in a single turn so stone skin damage build. Um, oh, yeah. On, on Classic Arena. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's great. I, I like Such Ragash a shame a that he doesn't get a lot more use. Yeah, I, I see him a decent chunk. He's quite nice. He's at, he's good against Harima, unless she's got six star polymorph. But if she doesn't, he's quite good because the decreased defense is great. The stun, the affinity. Yeah, yeah. He's solid. Um, I used him to go so, like just before my damage dealer. So let everybody else do everything, and then Romantu come do the strip, and then and also drop a load of their HP, mm. and then damage dealer come in and just wipe them all out. Okay, so, that's so too, yeah, that's I, too much. pick your poison there. You know, I put Torm in because okay, I just figured yes, that's another complicated thing for them to deal with. But yeah, 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 to totally up to you. Mm -hmm. I guess you the only the... thing that you lose there is that speed aura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which aura? You've got good ones. Nice accuracy one, really good resistance one, or really good defense one. What what would you go for in this situation? I don't know if you pick those in the team. <laughs> Coven, what would I go for? Uh, I'd probably go for the accuracy on the Yumiko. All right. Yeah, makes sense. And then put Tormund second with the Polymorph. Cool. All right. And then what other teams we got? So team two becomes king and queen still. Yeah. And then UDK comes in and mm -hmm. Elva comes in. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I like that one. Sure. And actually the Elva is where I was going to put our mons. Ah, interesting. Yeah, that could just so you get a really a big bit of speed control. Aura. Mm -hmm. You are then only running one damage dealer in that team, which I have tried to avoid in general. But yeah. I just figure that he's so tanky. You've got your Ancora in Stone Skin and Bolster. You've got Double Reviver in that team, or you've got you know. Armands, which means they're just never going to take a turn because they'll yeah. constantly be stunned or sheep. This is Armands now. He's uh, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I think both are both are good options actually because Elva gives you the block debuffs, which is nice. Uh, lots of passive healing as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, and the veil. The veil is a real. Yeah, that's really underrated actually. That can be a real pain to deal with when random. That's counting. always the biggest pain with uh, with Elva. It's it's. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's that veil that you, you know, you just get someone low and then she veils them and you can't. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, interesting. And yeah, and then I, I, I think you even, it's such a strong trio, even these ones, because it's just annoying to deal with, isn't it? Ultimate Death Knight is so tanky. Yeah. And then you've got such a powerful duo, in those. Yeah, cool. Ultimate right. Death Knight with any tanky reviver is a pain. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then what was the final? final and one? the last one was. How you had it, so the Pythion, the Mithrala, the Wukong, and then a Helicath. Uh -huh. Just because that way you've got your supplementary damage dealer in there, even though we can see that your Wukong is definitely a damage Wukong, mm. you've got a counter by having a secondary damage dealer in there, and Mithrala handily brings the buff for both of, the, both of their damage. That's true, yeah, that is a nice combo. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, oh, if I if only I could get him in. I don't have it, I think. I have to double check, actually, after tomorrow, next Hydra Clash. But I wonder if I could get him into Lethal Stone Skin, because that really is ideal, isn't it? You get the damage, but you also get him protected from turn meter pushback and, yeah, just being CC'd on turn one. 
Yeah. Nice. All right. Cool. There we go. So yeah, did you have any sort of comments, extra comments to add on these teams? Uh, no, I think that was it. I guess the only, if I'm looking at it sort of critically myself, you know, yeah. that speed or in team one, I guess now looking at it, would I replace Tormin with your Armands in team one? I would think pro like my inclination would be probably, yeah. I'm, again, I'm not sure if he does target, if he targeted, certainly on offense, I definitely would. Because you could target the ultimate Death Knight with Armands and then Rotus is like, yes, ready time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's strong. I don't know how it works otherwise, but I, I, I would be concerned because I don't have the best speed gear. I'd be like, really like a speed aura to try to make sure that because my, my CP giving away all the strats, you can see all my bills, by the way, <laughs> in the optimizer link down below. <laughs> she's not that fast for this level at all because she's in nine piece protection, which is real nice for Hydra. Yeah. Um, and just stuff in general. Uh, so she's super tanky, but like she doesn't have reaction. Um, in this, she's not protected by a, a bolster. She doesn't have stone skin. Like someone outspeeds her, she's going to die, probably, which is a problem, of course. Yeah, so. that's interesting. I hadn't really thought about your bolster here. Yeah, that's the one team that I don't have a bolster on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I know some people are debating whether or not they're going to keep Bolster based on the king. Well, that's that's the thing. Yeah, Narcissus is so strong against it. Um, I mean, mm. I I will still be keeping it in all of my teams because yeah. people have only got one king, Narcissus. Well, that's very at true. the moment. Uh, most most uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, most of you one know, max. <laughs> if you have multiple, but... if two of your teams survive and one of them gets nuked extra hard by by him, mm -hmm. uh, then. That's a shame, but I'd rather two of my teams survived than uh, none of them survived those those initial hits from Nukas. I mean, <laughs> it's easier to build them way tankier now. Maybe we're maybe we're too reliant on Bolster uh, as a crutch to keep uh, to last through those first hits. But could be, could be. What what would we throw in that would we put Tormen in? Probably not. He doesn't have an increased defense, so he's not much of a threat, I would say. So. Oh. You could put your Romantu in there. He doesn't have work. an increased attack either. Doesn't, but he softens them up if he strips their stuff. Narcissus is like, yeah. And they're also, this entire team, spoilers, is in stone skin, which is quite fun. <laughs> it's a bit nasty. Um, I think it would actually work out pretty well speed tuned. Oh, uh, no, not quite. Or almost. you could go with the Gofred. Gofred? Damage, yeah. The I damage, like the Gofred. stun, and. Uh, do you know what? I or haven't got mine too. built for damage, but I have seen that that is a build that people are running on him. Yeah, absolutely. For the stun yeah. and the protect and then the damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be, I'd say probably I've got good gear on Elva. That would be my inclination be to put Elva in. I think that's what was originally in, wasn't it? Before we switched in the pirate, I think it was like this. I think we had Helicath and oh, right. Kaimar in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I quite like this this duo. Um, got quite a lot of tankiness, and it's just there's always a threat. Narcissus could just start popping off and killing people. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Interesting. Well, I tell you what, there's been a lot of different team variations and stuff going on here. <laughs> Let us know in the comments, like, what would you guys do? Because that's always the thing. Like, which what setups for me would you find the scariest to attack? Because that's what I want. So I want you guys to be to fear. Be, be afraid, be very afraid. What looks the scariest to you in the comments? Um, and especially if there's anything that, that we've missed, always really curious. Like that's been one of the most interesting things about uh, chatting to you about these teams and seeing your ideas is like, oh, it's a totally fresh take on like my accounts. And you came up with a bunch of really cool ideas that I'd like just completely bypass my mind. So I'm so used to it. I'm so like locked in to seeing my stuff the way I see it. I hadn't even thought of it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's idea um yeah there we go well thank you for jumping on uh, and doing this no thank uh, you yeah it's, we're gonna it's be... been it's been great fun going through your teams and going through your roster <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're, we're gonna be jumping over if you guys like hydra content well stay tuned we're jumping over to lil's channel now we're gonna be recording a collab over there looking at his hydra teams and seeing what we can do uh over there so yeah lots of if you haven't had enough theory crafting in depth today well, you know where to go. So yeah, again, you'll find the link down below in the description. Uh, jump on over and yeah, subscribe over there and check it out. We'll see you there. Anything you want to say before we go? 
No, just thanks for having me on. It's been loads of fun. And yeah, come, come on over and check out some Hydro with nubs, guys. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.